we can easily create a new Silverlight project. File, new, project. Here, let's select the section Visual C Sharp, and here, let's select Silverlight. Let's select Silverlight application, and press OK. Here, we can specify which version of Silverlight do we want to target. Let's keep things simple and avoid the ASP.NET Web Application project and select a simple website. Um, here we can specify the name, we can keep it. And let's press OK. The outcome is a new project, and if we take a look at the files, we can find the app.zaml file that includes the configuration of the new application, the main page zaml file that includes the main page of the application, Here we can give it a try and create some sort of a user interface. Let's drag and drop a label. Here we can find the properties of that label. The content, for instance, is the text itself. Let's change it into a low world. Let's give it a try and place a few more uh, controls. For example, red button, checkbox. Um, let's try place something more interesting like a slider and that's it. Now if we try to execute start without debugging Here is the outcome.